States. Rockies down 5-2. Walker to second. Graffinino to first. McGriff drops it. 5-4. Braves lead. Very big play in the game. Top of the six. Nafi Perez at the plate. To left. Ryan Klesko. Quickly over. Can't get there. A run scores. Tied at five. Walt Weiss to center. Quentin McCracken would score. And the Rockies quickly go up 9-5. Burks, McGriff, no. Jones. Uh-oh. We're not focused out there. Another run scores, 10-5. And the Rockies come from behind and win 10-6. Uncarried. who has got a no-hitter. Carlos Mendoza to left. Brad Fulmer coming, diving, that's an error. Wrong, they give him a hit. To Hermanson, one hit for Mets through eight. Bottom nine, it's six nothing. It's all over. Wrong. Two on, two down for Pettigini. Two one single to center. The Mets trail, six three, but they break up the shutout. Felipe Alou says, Shane Bennett, you get it done. Luis Lopez goes to right. Shane Bennett, you didn't get it done. Who get Urbina, your turn. Matt Franco. Turns one back up the middle. We're loaded. Justin Hermanson says, why me? Everett. A grand slam. Third of his career. And the Mets for one hit through eight. They've tied it at six. Then the 11th, Bernard Gilkey. He's banged up, and he bangs this one to left. A three-run home run. Do you believe? And the Mets win 9-6. Only the second time. The second, Sandy Alomar. Sandy Alomar had eight home runs so early in the season. He's got 10 since. 3-2 Indians. Albert to center. Ray Durham comes around to score. It's 7-4 White Sox. That was in the sixth. Now the eighth, first and second. Keith Folk. Ouch. What happens if it hits your hand in the bat simultaneously? It's a hit. Manny Ramirez. Mike Hargrove says no, and he had a huge blister to prove that he was hit. Top of the ninth, Indians down 7-6, two down. Tomei's at the plate, Williams is off third, and Tomei goes to left. Game, set, match. White Sox win 7-6, oral first loss in 12 starts. I stunk on my back. He surely does. He sets the tone early. Three fastballs to Jeter, then a nasty breaking ball. He mixed the fastball and the curveball really well today and located uh, that fastball as well as anybody. He got up to 95 miles an hour on his, uh, on his fastball. Uh, look at just how he spots two ba balls away and freezes Paul O'Neill on a fastball away. Wherever Hoyles put the glove, you see the found it. Kenny Rogers, bottom one, one nothing, one on. How come nobody talks about Palmer? I don't know. I think he's probably as underrated as any power hitter in the game. He just does it year after year, 30, 35 home runs, 100 RBIs. And then you see the Jorge Posada on the heater, and it turns and hole in the glove. He retired 20 in a row, 31 batters he faced for over the minimum. Only three of the 27 outs were to the outfield. You see him not happy, though, about... Kevin Brown, just outstanding sinker, a little bit up, and late movement gets a double play from Jeff Kent. Now, just hard sinker down and in. Just shows you why I think he's probably the best pitcher in the game right now. Mark Gardner, he got it in, where Javon White liked it. Fifth of the year, White would hit another one later. And then Brown getting some support in the third, facing Marvin Bernard in the hole. On the ground, the smother. And Council there to make the play. A no-hitter through four. Two nothing Florida Snow. Singles to right. That's the first giant hit against Kevin Brown in 14 innings. Brown against Wilson Delgado in the eighth. Strikes him out on the nasty pitch. Well, he's third at bat this year. Getting. Facing the Dodgers, he's beaten him once this season. He's checking out Tom Candiotti. You're gonna get hit by a pitcher. It's either Wakefield in the American League or Candiotti in the National, right? No question, about 52, 53 mile an hour knuckleball. Just stay out of my face. You know. Darryl Kyle gets hit. Three hit batters in an inning. That ties a major league record. He had four in a game, it's four zip after one. Ricky Gutierrez to deep center. Otis Nixon going back, going up, coming down with a ball. Take another look. Don't know if this was going to get out. Still, great defense. More good defense. Todd Zeal. They were a little late helping. Weren't they? Just a little tad. Zeal comes up with it. But the night belonged not to the Dodgers defense or the Dodgers offense, but Kyle. Oh. 
gets Mondesi down and away. A career high 13 Ks. Candiotti, the seventh pitcher to hit four in a game. The last Steve Traxel. First and third, it's Jose Guillen. Goes the other way. Sammy Sosa got a great jump on it. Great grab to save at least one run. Meanwhile, Traxel shifted into cruise control. He surely did. And he's right here Williams with a uh, split finger. He comes back with a fastball. Then he comes back with a breaking ball to get Jason Kendall grounding out routinely to third. I think Traxel can become an outstanding pitcher in this league because he possesses three outstanding pitchers. Well, ground ball out for him. Six Ks. Cubs win. The Pirates lost. Since then, thanks more to the poor play of Anaheim, the Mariners have seen their lead in the West increase. Not a bad deal considering you know now you have a healthy and rested Randy for the stretch run. He's had his way with Toronto. 2 nothing, and one run allowed in 17 innings of work. Shannon Stewart, forget about it. Mariano Duncan, no. Jose Cruz, no. They all went down. Omar Dahl against Mike Flowers. To center field, look at Shannon Stewart. Trying to make like Junior. No, oh, he lost his glove. And then we had a little delay because he couldn't get it back. Finally, security tosses it over the fence. Randy against Joe Carter, right? Game tied at one. Uh, first pitch is slider on the outside corner to Carter. Locks him up, comes back with a hard breaking ball down and in. See you later. Then a fastball up and out of the strike zone. No chance. Six innings, one hit, one run. He came eight. He's back. The Mariner bullpen. Yeah, not back. Really haven't been here all year. Up 3-1, Timlin. Stewart, who lost his glove, hasn't lost his bat. Buter slides, can't make the play. Evans and Crespo score. This game is tied at three. Bobby Ayala. Bobby Ayala. Bobby Ayala. Carlos Delgado scores. The bullpen allows five runs over the last two. Jays win 6-3. Hours you could have watched the entire Royals Angels tilt. Greg Olson strikes out Tony Phillips. Three consecutive K's with men on second and third. That was in the 12th. Top 13, Dean Palmer. He homered on Thursday. He homered on Friday. In this one, the right center and Edmonds. A disaster. Palmer ends up on third with a triple. Two batters later, first and third. There's nobody out. One, Roderick two, Myers Myers breaks the second, and Carnacion's throw. Oh, Tony Phillips can't handle it. Palmer scores, and the Oils win 3-1. Five hours. 14 pitchers used, 30 men stranded. He's won two of his last three. Juan Gonzalez. Is there any place you can put the ball, he won't hit it? Maybe under the plate. <laughs> Tied at two. That's 250 for his career. Fernando Tatis to left, staring, and it's flying out. Six of the year, second of the game. He hits two with his father in the stands. Remember the two reunited this weekend. They're not seeing each other since the junior Tatis was just a child. Gonzalez has got 37 home runs. Over his last 100 second, that's his 200th hit this season. You think he has 200 hits every season. The fact is, hasn't had reached that milestone since 89. McGuire. Now one for four in the day with two Ks. Padres win 8-3, so the power hitters, or at least Griffey and McGuire, in slumps. Oh, and Bagwell is no beanie baby. Home run number 39, tying his own team record. He set back in 94. Bagwell also has a team record 122 RBIs. Nomo would later settle down with the 11 Ks in seven innings. Dodgers speed on display. There's the bunt by Otis Nixon. Let's all watch it together. Kenny, you watching it? Watching, watching it, watching it stay fair? Mike Piazza, either he or Larry Walker, will win MVP at the end of the year. But first things first. That's an opposite way RBI single. Nixon would score on it. Young would score later in the inning to tie the game after four innings. We move to, move to the 10th side of three. Piazza up after walks to the table setters. Nixon and Young and Piazza would deliver again. Mike Piazza now has 109 RBIs, including the game winner here, and what a big win this was for the Los Angeles Dodgers. The win, not only big for the Dodgers in their division battle with the Giants, but the ones in Roberto Hernandez, Gary Sheffield goes deep. Number 19 on the year, 447 feet away, a three-run home run. It's 3-1 Marlins. Top of the eighth, same score, two on, two out. Daryl Hamilton, a shot down the line, good enough to score Bill Miller and Jeff Kent. We're tied at three. Bob
bottom eight, same score. Right Runners on second and third with one out. It's not always about muscle, you know. Ask Kurt Abbott. The chopper no goes about 10 feet. Brian Johnson no doesn't have a play. play. Cliff and Floyd no with scores. 4-3 Marlins. It was 5-4 Florida. Top of the ninth, the game-winning run on second. Two outs. Barry Bonds time. Time to pop up. up. Bobby Bonilla Bonilla drifting, drifting Does toward the stands. Bobby up. Bo he's diving and he makes the grab. Can we see fired. that again? It's he's Bobby Bo jumping into Bobby the stands Bonilla. and Going robbing his old pal, Barry Bonds. And, and the Marlins would pitch. hang on to win it. Five to four for Cleveland. Bottom of one. Dwight Gooden in trouble. He walks Cal Ripken, brings in a run. One nothing the Orioles. Top of four. Bernie Williams RBI double. Tied it at one. Two on for Tino Martinez. And he smacks this thing to right. Geronimo Barra is going to pick it up and wing it. He'll throw to second while third base coach Willie Randolph waved in Williams from first. Joe Torre likes it. That's the play, Willie! That's the play, Willie! That's the one. He was pleased. Top of six, 4-1 Yanks. Alan Mills facing Chad Curtis only. So much for situational substitutions. Curtis takes it out as 15th of the year. 6-1 Yanks. Bottom of six. O's down 6-2. Bases loaded. Alomar the check swing. Here comes Wade Boggs. There's the throw. Guns him out. Show him what they've won. It's an American League Baseball game. The Yanks win it 8-2 since starting the season 0 and 5th. Throwing out the first pitch. And Same day as number 72, 72 retired by the White Sox. Well bottom of four. 2-0 nothing White Sox. Here. Frank Thomas up. Two on. We don't generally show walks Man, unless they're on. significant. And this one was. The first man ever to have a 300 average, 20 homers, 100 RBI, 100 runs scored, and 100 walks, seven straight seasons. Ted Williams did it six times. Top eight, two nothing Sox, bases loaded. Tell me, the bouncer, Guillen, the play, goes to third, everybody safe. Omar Vizcale comes to score, 2-1 Chicago. After a Dave Justice sack fly, tied it at two. Matt Williams, the intentional walk, reloads the bases. Then Sandy Alomar, batting 431 in his career with the bases loaded. It'll go up. The single drives in two. The Indians break it open and win this thing by a count of eight to three. Chicago's down seven and a half. And Pedro Astacio just asked Jeff Blauser. And in the six, Fred McGriff would whiff 12 Ks for Astacio. That's a rocky record. Bottom seven, still no score. Greg Colburn at the plate looking for space and finds it. Check out this play. Ryan Klesko would be waved in. Todd Helton with the throw. Jeff Reed. Terrific catch and tag while getting hit. Still scoreless game. Top of the eighth on the mound for Atlanta. John Smoltz looking for back-to-back -back wins for the first time in the month. Andres Colorado breaks through. That hit brings in Walt Weiss. It's 1-0 Colorado. Bottom eight, Chipper Jones. Harvey Pulliam charging, charging, charging. Great sliding catch. End of inning. Top of the ninth we go. Pinch hitter John Vanderwall gets the Smoltz in a big way. A three-run home run, the first homer for Colorado in this series. And it was good enough to give the Rockies the sweep over Atlanta. Only one team has done that to Atlanta at Turner Field this evening, Montreal. Carlos Perez, Matt Franco. Franco pops it up, shallow ground. Doug Strange. Long chase. Life is not strange, it's just fine. Great grab, take another look. Top of the eighth, Expos down one, one nothing. Mike Lansing, two outs, runners on the corners. The laser to third. Look at Franco, the backhanded stab, and then the finish. Dave Malicki pumped up because Franco just saved a run. Top nine, Expos still down one nothing. Darren Fletcher up one out. Fletcher, the slice. Bernard Gilkey, the chase. David Segui with a motor around third. Here we go, the play of the game, the throw home. Segui is out or is he? Can you watch the replay, please? He's safe. Check it out. Sagi's hand clearly touches the plate before Todd Pratt is able to tag him. Bad call by the Yumps. Tempers would flare. Mike Lansing would come out steaming and storming. Felipe Alou tries to hold him back. Lansing was ejected. Even Expos trainer Ron McLean gets into a screaming match with first base umpire Jeff Kellogg throwing out a trainer. You've got to be kidding. Unbelievable. Don't the umpires have anything else to do? It was the crucial call. The Third scoreless game, and he's not going deep, but he is going well. The single to left scores Andy Sheets. RBI number 136 for Kenneth. Mariners up 1-0. Same score until the fifth, and then Carlos Delgado. Quadrangular off Jamie Moyers, 30th of the year. Ties the game at one apiece. Next batter, very next pitch, Felipe Crespo. First major league home run. Jays take the lead by a count of two to one. High fives all around for Cresco. He's the man, takes the lead, but the bottom of the eighth, it's Jay Buhner against Bill Risley. Number 36, RBI 99 and 100. 
M's go up by a count of three to two. Buhner's third consecutive season with 100 or more RBI. Top of the ninth, Heathcliff Slocum on to close it out, and he does. A-Rod turns a 6-3 double play. Pinella gets some bullpen help. No decision for Moyer, but a comeback win for his team, and better still, the bullpen closed things out. Mike Timlin got the win. Heathcliff Sloak, the deal was a no-hitter. Then Ricky There's Henderson taking this thing way back and deep. Johnny Damon's after it, makes the play at the wall. The no-hitter through seven. It was broken up in the eighth, then it was really broken up. Jack Howell. Still plenty of good seats available out there. If you're just driving around the yard, come on out. Two-run shot, number 11 for Howell. And Belcher gets the hook. Middle of the eighth, Terry Collins upset a third base umpire, Gary Cedarstrom. I hate you! You're the worst umpire in the world! The argument is long and detailed. Takes too long to explain anyway. He got tossed. In the top of the ninth, two out. Make that two on. Make it one out. Make it Tony Phillips the batter. And make it Tony Phillips the fielder. Make me mixed up. Tony Phillips, good play. Thank you and good night. Show them what they've won a baseball game. Steve Cook nails it up the middle, but Jose Hernandez, that's... Fancy he makes the play. Nails Cook at first. Pirates showing some defense too. Top of seven, same score. And Joe Randa steals one from the fans. Makes the great play. Bottom of eight. Pirates down two on Turner Ward. Pinch hitting against Clark. And even with derogatory credit, you can own a brand new car. Fourth homer of the year. Ties the game at two apiece. Top of ninth. Game still tied. Miguel Cairo at the plate. And Cairo nails it to third. Freddie Garcia. My bad. E5. Cairo ends up at second. He would score on a sack fly. Gives the Cubs a 3-2 lead. Bottom of nine. Pirates down 3-2. They stem the runner on first. But they get nothing out of that. 6-4-3 double play, and the Pirates go down 3-2. Pirates blew another chance to close on Houston, and Kevin Young let his teammates know it. He went off on them for about 90 seconds in the clubhouse, accusing his teammate Hamilton to Mark McGuire. It is back. It is back. It's coming back, but Steve Finley and Greg Vaughn are going to slam into each other. The ball drops, and Guyer ends up at second. He would later score on a ground out. 3-2 San Diego. Guyer's next at bat. Cards down 4-2. He He's going to get his name in the paper. 51st home run of the season. That leads the major leagues. One more than Kenneth. 17th in the National League. Bottom of eighth. Score tied at four. Bases loaded. Tim Morrell pitching. And we've just proved you the bases are loaded. David Bell. He's going down the line. Doubles the left field. Phil Plantier and Dimitri Young are coming on the play. Cardinals pull ahead 6-4. They get seven runs in the inning and win it 10-4. Williams hoping for a little offense. Darren Bragg, the slow up. chopper. Yes. Jose Mercedes picks it up. Mercedes. Tries the backhand flip. My bad. Bragg coasting the second on the air. The inning's still alive. Next batter, no Mark Garcia Para. Home run. Two run home run, 29th of the year. The Red Sox win it by a count of 2 1. They sweep the series. Homer by Garcia Para was the 15th hit by. Red Boone and Boone passes the test. The diving Boone. stop and Boone throws to first for the out. Top nine, five, three Reds, runners at the corners. Ricky Patalico pitching. His pitch, Willie Green high. Mike Lieberthal throw. Trying to catch Ke Eduardo Perez play. stealing. Kevin Stocker then throws home. John Nunnally is safe and double steal actually was pulled off. And the Reds go on to the victory, 6-4. The win.